Welcome back to Alkaline TV. This is the Alkaline Vegan Mukbang number two. This is gonna be a series on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm in Chicago, Illinois, and this is Michelle's Underground Restaurant. All right, here we go. Uh, this was in Little Italy. And I don't know the name of her shop, but Michelle, thank you. Um, we just got the food, picked it straight up. It's nice and piping hot. Um, there's no delivery, but that's okay. Luckily, it was pretty easy to find, easy to park. Oh man, there are the dozen empanadas. Yeah, baby. Oh, they're labeled. Walnut, three. Maitake, two. Oyster, three. Nopal. And re raj Rajas. Whatever that is. I think that's a pepper one. All right, and then, oh man, here's the deep dish. Let's see. Let's see what this deep dish looks like. Oh, it's taped. I don't have my knife with me. Should, should grab one. Okay, here we go. Thank you for your business. You're welcome. <gasps> oh my god! It smells like sunrise pizza. Mm. Oh yes. Wow. Well. I'm impressed by the smell, and hopefully the taste is as good as the smell. Oh no, do we have any forks or anything? Yeah, we Okay, that looks excellent. Great work on that presentation. All right, now let's dig into here. Oh, here are some knives and stuff. Oh, thankfully, a bunch of knives. Oh, a bunch of paper towels. For a uh, knife. Nice bunch of forks. What's this? Ooh, what is that? Is that the tortas? Big sandwich? Oh, oh man. Mm. Let's get in there and see a show. Of it. Oh, ooh, it's nice and fluffy. Wow, it's loaded. What is what are these? Those are the tortitas. However, you, I don't know how to pronounce them. Oh, what's down there? That is a. What is that? Um, ooh, that's oh. the apple pie. Oh, apple pie. Sauce. Ooh, a bunch of salsa. Good, because I'm gonna need it. And guac. Big thing of guac. This is for the empanadas. Ooh. Yeah, I think this came with the empanadas to dunk them or to put all over them. Mmm, mmm. Ooh, smells like onion right away. Whoa. Shit, is this the thumbnail? Okay, let me sit back. Let me sit behind it. Welcome back to Alkaline TV. This is the Alkaline Vegan Mukbang number two. This is gonna be a series on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm in Chicago, Illinois, and this is Michelle's Underground Restaurant. I'll put her Instagram, that's where I ordered it on Instagram. I'll put it down below and so far the service was good, let's see how the food is. And make sure to check out my mukbang from yesterday's video I did from Conscious Plates in Chicago, Illinois. All right, so we've got a deep dish pizza that looks and smells like sunrise pizza. So, it's so good, I'm really excited to try this. We've got 12 empanadas. We've got oyster mushroom, maitake, 
walnut, nopal cactus, and I think they're like red pepper or something. There's a tortas. There's, I think this, this huge tub of guac goes with these, I think. There's, there's salsa that came with it. I got a mini apple pie. I got a huge tortas. I think it's portobello mushroom or something. And here's the tortitas, which are quinoa. I've never had anything like that before. So I'm just gonna dig into it. I don't even know where to start. What do I do? Apple pie is what I want, but we'll save that for last. Let's try the tortitas. Can I eat this with my hand? Let's try eating this with my hand. Is this salsa all the same? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move the pizza out of the way and also put the lid on it for a minute and put some of this guac on top. First, I'm just gonna taste the guac. Why not? It's hard to go wrong with guac, I mean. Mm, good. Yeah, mild, not spicy. Is this the right way to eat tortitas? And I'm, I'm pronouncing it wrong. I don't care if you make fun of me. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. Mmm. I'm going to try it with some salsa. Cilantro-y. I'm just gonna taste a little bit of the salsa by itself. Ooh, mmm, mmm. It's spicy. <coughs> it's a delay. <coughs> There's a delayed spice. Mmm. <coughs> Wow, that salsa is kicking. I think she asked me if I was okay with everything spicy before I ordered, and I said yes. So, wow, mmm, mmm. These are kind of like sausages. These are kind of like little quinoa sausages. Wow. Powerful, mmm, fresh, spicy, not too salty. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That's cilantro. It's not too spicy. All right, we're trying the torta. This one was recommended. It's massive. It's like. It looks to me like a coffee cake filled with <laughs> vegetables. It's fluffy. It's fluffy, it's juicy. I taste that portobello mushroom in there. It's nice and juicy. The bread is soft. I'm curious how she made that bread. It's really filling. I'm not gonna eat it all now because there's so many things to eat, but it's good. And, um, Mario recommended this 
And yeah, if you're just going to order one thing, that's like, it's a pretty good heft to it. It's not very light, but um, it's nice. Mmm, interesting. It's like a, wow, I never had a, I don't think I ever had an authentic, well, this, I wonder how authentic this is, I don't know, but it's good. Um, I like that. What's it usually made out of? Corn flour? Let me know in the comments what a torta is usually has in it. All right, gotta try this deep dish before I get full. And we gotta try the empanadas. Let me cover these up. I think this is gonna be the best, but I don't know. Let me... It's, it's good and solid. It's not all... It's not sogging or anything. Um, I wish it was sliced already, actually, because I'm on the road and I don't have my own stuff with me. Is that a habanero? <gasps> there is a habanero in the middle, a whole one. Oh, all right. Less talking, more cutting. I don't want to ruin it because it looks so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, all right. All right, this is possible with a plastic fork. Let me see. Hmm, okay. <laughs> oh, wow, did that pop out? Wow, all right, that was not bad. That was pretty easy with the plastic fork, and look at that! Just comes right out. Deep dish, alkaline deep dish, are you kidding me? I want to take, I want to take another picture just of this. Oh well. All right, it's dripping a little, but it's pretty solid. It's not as messy as I was wondering. Um, there's a little bit of juice is dripping, maybe from the peppers, but Mmm. Mmm. Sweet, a little sweet. There's walnut in here. There's, it looks like there's kale, there's walnuts, there's some other veggies I'm crunching on. It's a little bit sweet, it's spicy. Now that I'm, it's got a, it's got an aftertaste spice. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's good. Doesn't really, it doesn't taste like homemade pizza or anything. It tastes like, tastes legit. I don't think I've ever had anything like this. Alkaline, no. I've been wanting to make my own deep dish. It wouldn't be like this, but this is good. And honestly, this is enough. I mean, it's, it's a, it's maybe a 10 inch deep dish, but it's heavy. I mean, it's not, it's not oily, but it's got walnuts and filling. 
So I'm I'm filling up quickly because <laughs> I don't usually I don't usually mukbang, but um. Hmm. Wow, that's good. Wow. What do I try first? Walnut, maitake, oyster, nopal, or rajas? Comment below which one you think sounds the best. I'm gonna try maitake. All right, let's try the maitake. Gotta salsa it up first. Mmm, cilantro. Mmm, the salsa. So far, I just got the dough at the end. I mean, you wouldn't even know this is alkaline. It's, I don't even know if you would know it's vegan, really. It's just good. Mmm. 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 Spicy. All right, that was the maitake. I'm struggling to taste all of these. I don't know if I can do it. Oh my God. <laughs> what am I, what am I thinking? And some people in the mukbang are eating all of it. I'm, ha I'm having trouble even tasting all of it. All right. Um, I'm gonna taste the nopal. I'm just gonna rip it in half and look in. Oh, there's chickpeas in this one. Mmm. These are nice and stuffed with goodness. Is that the nopal? Mmm. Mmm. Crunchy. Mmm. Mmm. Is it better than the maitake? It's good. A little bit sour, spicy. I don't know if that was the salsa or the inside. There was a chickpea in there, whole chickpea. Um, but it didn't like interrupt the flavor. Uh, yeah, it has a lot of flavor. My tongue is feeling the sour and spicy. It's good. I'm not sure, you know, if I'm gonna have a favorite of these. There are tugboats out the window blasting their horns. Ooh, this one's got wild rice in it. This is the Rajas. Let's see. Mmm. I didn't put any salsa on that one because I just wanted to taste. 
Mm. The first bite tasted a little like sausage. Mm. That one is good too. I'm not sure which one of these is my favorite so far. They're all, they're all spicy. I ordered them spicy. Um, it's different, but equally as good. So I can't, I didn't choose a favorite yet. All right, I'm gonna try the oyster and the walnut, and then I'm gonna try the pie. And then I'm out of here, and I'm gonna be laying on the ground from a food coma. Although you don't really get a food coma out on an alkaline diet because there's no acid, there's no um, wheat. So this, this type of carbs digests easily compared to <clears throat> wheat. So let's see. Let's try the oyster. I'm just ripping the corners off because I just want to try one. Ooh, that smells a little sausagey too. I see the red pepper. I see the red pepper seeds in there. That must be what's spicing. Ugh. All right, diving in. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. So, the oyster tastes just like the rajas, if I'm saying that right, but the texture is different. It's got that, there's a lot of oyster mushrooms chewy texture. So, the oyster and the rajas has a similar flavor, but the texture, yeah, that's definitely got more mushroom chunks in it, and this one didn't. They're both good. And sometimes I get overloaded on oyster mushrooms because we ate so many of them before, but um, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, let's see. Last empanada. <laughs> I'm like, oh, ooh, this one looks different. It looks like tuna salad or something. This is the walnut one. Whoa. Mm, that's the most different out of all of them. Hmm, okay. Wow. Flavor is good. Mmm. It's a little heavier because it's got walnut. If you're hungry and need something heavy to fill you up, man, that one would really... Mmm. I could gain some weight if I was eating that. That's for sure. If you're not, if you're trying to lose weight, Avoid the walnut one. If you're trying to gain weight, go for the walnut one. It's not too heavy, but it's definitely substantial. Good, flavor's good, all of these are good. Yeah, wow. All of them are equally as good. I think, oh, if I had to pick one, I think the maitake and nopal and rajas were my favorite three out of the five. The oyster and the walnut were good, but that's more common stuff for me to cook with. So I kind of liked the stuff that was more not my usual. Um, I'm happy with those though. I mean, they're definitely, if you need something to eat, that is got a lot of power. All right, finally, the apple pie. Probably gonna be my favorite thing. The salsa is good, though. That definitely gonna enjoy that. The guac, 
is good. Probably a little bit of the salsa and guac would be bam. Okay, let's get into the apple pie. I had an apple pie yesterday at Conscious Plates. Um, they didn't have any, uh, they didn't have any of their cheesecake left yesterday, so I had to get apple. So I can compare the two. Rip some of it off, see what it's like. It looks like a, oh, oh, mmm. It smells good. So full. It's so good. Well, the pie, I would have to say, the pie is a little better here today than yesterday because. Um, yesterday I waited for delivery for an hour, today I picked it up. So, you know, take that into consideration. If this would have been sitting in someone's car for an hour, maybe it'd be about the same. Just to be fair, uh, but um, since it's hot and fresh, because I just picked it right up, right when it was done, uh, it's good. It's really good. And there's a lot, it's not all apple. There's some kind of like cinnamony filling in there that's um, like outside the apples that's really smooth and warm and uh, sweet. <laughs> I love apple pie. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Wow. The apple pie might be my favorite thing. The tortitas were really good, too. Yeah, I think these two are my favorite. The apple pie and the tortitas. The salsa is good, too. And the rest of it is was really good. Um, I'm just, my two favorites were these two. I mean, any of this would be good just by itself. You don't need a whole spread. Um, but this was a lot of fun. It was fun to support the alkaline chef, other alkaline chefs and to eat some other alkaline foods that, that I didn't make. So that was priceless. And mmm, I'm still tasting the apple pie. Very good apple pie. Um, this, the deep dish was good. I mean, that's all you would need if you're hungry. That's, it's got a lot of food there. And the guac is gonna be pleasantly saved. And this, I mean, it's gonna take a while to eat all this, but it's gonna, I'm definitely eating it all. And yeah, everything is good. I don't think my least favorite out of any of it might just be the walnut stuff because it's just a little bit more heavy and I'm just trying to eat a lot. But if, if that's all you were eating, it would, you know, you wouldn't have to. <laughs> anyway, the people watching can probably eat more than me. Everyone watching, I have a, I have a pretty 
small stomach anymore just from fasting all the time and, and everything like that. So as I do more mukbangs, maybe my stomach will grow. Maybe I'll get some body fat. <laughs> we'll see. If you like this, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I mean, this was the most fun I've had uh, trying to fill up and explain the food flavors to you is so much fun for me. If you like this kind of video, please let me know and because I would love to make more videos like this. And if you cook alkaline food or have a restaurant that serves alkaline vegan food, let me know because I'm, I'm trying to hunt them all down and you know, not everyone has a online presence. I mean, for example, Michelle who made this is on Instagram. Uh, I ordered it on Instagram in the chat and it was easy to pay, customer service was good, so no problem with that, You just it's just hard to find it sometimes if you're not on Instagram. So any other of these like this that exist, let me know of them so that I can make a plan to go do another mukbang. So this is number two, I want to do a whole series of them. So stay tuned and make sure when you hit the bell icon when you subscribe because I've been going live a lot recently. And uh, if you hit the bell, you'll get notified right when I go live so that you can ask questions right then uh, while I'm live, which is always a lot of fun. Thank you so much everyone for watching. Oh, one more really important thing. Mario, one of our subscribers, um, paid for some of this. He helped out. No one asked him or anything. It, he just randomly decided to help support. And I'm so thankful. Thank you so much, Mario. It was, it was good. Thank you for recommending. I mean, he's the one who told me about this in the first place. So I appreciate it. Thank you, Michelle, uh, for the food. Um, both time, uh, today and yesterday, the, the, today and yesterday, it took a little, it took a little while to get the food from both places. So I just want to throw that out there. Um, it's not the end of the world, but keep that in mind that these aren't like big chains like Burger King or something. So there's just, you know, um, so let's support them. And I'm happy to support and thank you for all the support for my channel, uh, Mario and everyone else as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow, I feel like a king with this spread. And then yesterday's spread also, I'm definitely looking forward to doing this again in your city next. See you there. Have an amazing day on purpose. And this is one way how to do it. Peace. Oh my God, I'm eating the leftover pizza. I just bit into it and it's so spicy. Oh! Wow. <gasps> what did I just eat? Um, the habanero seeds. Wow. I think this is even better leftover, or better cold, actually. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. Wow. That bite was not spicy at all. I think I landed on a habanero seed. But this crust is really good. I mean, she nailed the crust. That's great. Um, wow, really good. Mmm. And it has, it tastes like a true deep dish. Mmm.
I think this was the fajita talk, a uh, fajita walnut fajita pizza. Whoa, spicy again. Whoa. Whoa, what is that pepper? Oh my God. Is that habanero seeds or a different kind of pepper? Wow, I'm, I'm loving it, but like, it's rocking me. It's lighting me up. My mouth is just, woohoo. <laughs> I have to keep this expression while I eat it. Oh, wow, like, yeah, I'm really like, emotional from the spice, but in a good way. Mmm. 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 Wow. That's good crust. That's good crust. Mmm. Wow. This is really good. At first, the first bite, <clears throat> the first bite I thought um, was a little bit, the first bite was a little walnutty. I was like, oh, okay, is this gonna be, I don't know, is this gonna be weird? And then, but like cold leftover, I feel like just all the flavors must have came together and everything. Yeah, oh man, really, oh, really good. Uh, Look how good it looks. Cut it. It looks so good. I honestly feel like it's better cold, left over. Mm. The crust, the crust wasn't soggy at all earlier. We'll see now. But it, it held its shape and everything. Um, it was easy to cut, even with a plastic knife. Oh man, this was good. Oh, heaven. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you're looking to completely transform your life and shift over to the alkaline way, reach out to me. There's a link at the bottom of the description and you can get a free consultation I'll see you in the next video. Have an amazing day on purpose. Peace.